Hi, I'm James, and once again, we're excited to present the latest flame extinguisher software release to our amazing customers. We've released features and scenarios, quality of life enhancements, and performance improvements, offering a deeper solution, enabling you to deliver even more comprehensive fire safety training. One of the new features of this release is the Workplace Hub. The new interface makes it installing, managing, and updating flame maps easier than ever. It also allows for greater control and customization of settings and localization and updates are now much smoother and faster. We've expanded our suite of air ambulance environments and now offer two in-flight medical bay scenarios, a medical equipment fire and a medical bag fire. Both of these incidents can be extremely challenging for flight crews to manage due to the various complexities involved. The medical bag fire in particular requires the precise use of extinguishing technique to ensure that the patient is not exposed to any harmful halon suppressant. This update also introduces two corrections facility scenarios that require precise and detailed procedures to evacuate inmates and extinguish fires in prison safely. The first incident features a low security cottage scenario involving an unattended frying pan on a gas burner. The trainee needs to evacuate the inmates in the cottage and correctly extinguish the fat fire. The second incident features a deliberately lit mattress in a high security management cell. In this situation, trainees need to deal with a volatile compartment fire whilst at the same time handling a potentially dangerous inmate. In our newest Army bulk fuel tanker training environment at a remote fuel depot, trainees must isolate the fuel delivery manifold on an Army truck before proceeding to extinguish the fire. To make matters more complex, the trainee must also combat the wind, which can make the line of approach to the fire difficult. How trainees decide to attack the fire is vital to their success. The highlight of this release is our new workplace fire warden scenario, which puts trainees in the shoes of a fire warden and tests their response to a fire emergency. It requires the trainees to follow a series of steps, such as activating the alarm, contacting the fire service, searching the entire floor, evacuating colleagues, and determining whether to fight or evacuate themselves. This is our first scenario to feature an evacuation zone, which along with fire warden procedures, will form the cornerstone of future business and professional scenarios. Finally, this release features many improvements to performance and quality of life, including the ability to toggle auto selection pointer, giving the users options on how to navigate the software. Additionally, our capture system has been further enhanced and now provides clients with better data insights into how their trainees are progressing. We now have 60 flame extinguisher scenarios, over 200 customers across 35 countries and all seven continents, and can deliver training in 25 languages. A couple of months ago, we launched Workplace Safety Fire. WSF is the world leading end-to-end -end solution for fire safety training that combines an immersive training experience with a blended learning platform to increase learner engagement and competency, improve operational compliance and deliver certified training outcomes. To find out more about WSF, visit our website or contact our team for a demo. If you haven't registered your flame extinguisher to our portal, please do so. Head to our website and create an account. This will allow you to access our latest release documentation, stay in touch with our support team and the larger flame community, and most importantly, submit feedback if it hasn't already, your extinguisher will update itself automatically to our latest release when connected to the internet sometime over the next few days. We can't wait to show you what our team is working on next. Thank you.